Be careful about nails because like I haven't really swept over there right here. So Okay. Hey Blue, be careful. Blue. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like once we get this panel up, I'll probably just cut those boards. So like all the rotted wood is off of it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take well, I'll cut the other plywood boards into shape. And then I'll just post them up and I'll start nailing them in. So hopefully I'll get started on cutting the boards today. Yeah, cool. I really kind of like. I have boots, you know, and I should be wearing boots. And like, I feel a little silly not wearing boots, but mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, you're good. I mean, at least your toes are covered. Yeah. That's the most important. this is for home and like it's important for me to have a home for my family and like sometimes it's hard to film it because I'm like this is going to be my home and like I want to respect it but like it's also important for me to share culture because like this is what people are giving up and they're calling this like a waste of time and it's like I think it's important to be able to build your own home like it's important to be able to like to know how hard it is and to like to put in the work and to like understand like if things go bad I have to fix it and like people are so stressed out and it's like if you were just stressed out about how well built your home was like you wouldn't have time to step on everyone else and yeah that is my little rant but I'm work yeah that's kind of why there was such a big break in between was just like I don't want this to feel like I don't know Fake. I'm not fake. I'm just me. Mm -hmm. And I just want to share a little bit, but not too much. Is this, yeah, this means a lot to me. Osha. 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 I so it's always harder on the ends because it's tied in so well on the base. Uh huh. Like on the base where it just nailed in so much. And like. Oh, there goes the hammer. I got it. I'm never gonna walk under it. Uh -huh. Oh, you're all good. Okay. I got the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's nailed in so much on the edging because like. The wind would pick it up, if anything. And that's what showed that show. It's like, where it's nailed in on the edges is the most critical because that's where the wind, if it catches on to anything with such a steep slope, it's going to be like a pretty strong wind. And because like, we're kind of like high up, high 
hot air is gonna rise and that's gonna result in a lot of wind. Uh -huh. And like, if your edges aren't secure, you're gonna have this problem again. So like, you gotta make sure all the edges are really nailed in. Like I get what they are doing. It's just, it's a lot for one person, but it's not excessive. It's excessive to me. <laughs> <laughs> That looks so difficult. You got this though. Wow. It's nice being able to work without like having to worry about being the one documenting it, you know? Like, yeah. Like, I'm gonna do this now. So this roof had water damage? Yeah. Yeah, so like on that end, the water started to come through the roof and I, yeah. I don't know, it happened such a long time ago, it's hard to tell why it happened, but it's not the worst fix, like a lot worse could happen. It'll be nice to rip the drywall out and like, we were talking about replacing it with cedar boarding. Uh-huh. I'm just lining the whole wall with cedar. That could work. It just sounds a little expensive, but like, if you're talking about long term, like, quality, like, it's always best to do the best if you have the money, you know? Yeah. Because, like, you're always gonna regret it. Like, that's one thing my dad's taught me is, like, man, like, if you spend less money, if he spends less money, you might hear about it. Like, you were probably going to hear, like, this is good, but you, we could have done this. And it's like, it's not fun to hear that. <laughs> like, it's not Quality. fun to hear. I worked my ass off. And we could have done that, but we didn't. So let's, might as well do it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hear about that. Make it last. Yeah, exactly. Make it pretty. Yeah. I'm like, I forgot to say that, like, my grandma passed away and like she's no longer here so like she's always here with me but like this is like like a statue for her I guess like I don't know she meant a lot she meant a lot to me I just want it to mean a lot to her it's very special yeah So four seat nails on the edge. Is that like, what is that, like two feet? Where are the nails? The sink nails are right in here, so they're probably like six inches apart. Wow. But they're just kind of hard to get. Them. Yeah. I probably should go from the outside. So are you going to do this whole roof on the edges? Uh, yeah, but I'm going to do it three panels at a time just to not get overwhelmed. And like, just in case it like, it's probably gonna rain at this point. It's not gonna snow, I don't think. But just in case it rains, I wanna be able to cover it up. And all I have is like, some tarp and plastic and some like double-sided gorilla tape if that happens. So I wanna keep the space kind of small, just in case it does happen. Yeah. Like, that would, that would be sad. Everything. Yeah. But like three panels is not gonna blow. But eventually, are you going to do all of them? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Ten, ten panels on the outside, three panels at a time. And hopefully, I'm hoping we can do like three panels every week to two weeks. Right. And just kind of, it's hard. It's, I wish we could just work on it every day, but like, we also have to worry about hauling water. We have to worry about getting fuel. And we have to worry about our dogs. Like, and we have to like, enjoy our lives too, you know? Yeah. And like, we're, time is essential, but staying healthy is more essential. Like, I can work through the winter if I'm healthy, but like, it's just hard to balance everything. Like, I, it's hard. And like, I can't imagine like working a full time job right now, like other people are doing. Like, that's overwhelming. Right. And, like, be worried about like going to work every day and worrying if like you're gonna get your family sick. Like, that sounds super stressful. So I just. I really consider this like a blessing. It's stressful, but it's my stress. You know, like I control the stress. Like 
Everyone else is, you could get sick from your coworker because your coworker doesn't respect you. And like here, I don't have to worry about that. Like everyone respects me. And I respect everyone. And like, that's fair. Right? Yeah, and like if we have a disagreement, we can talk about it. Like, I'm not going to get you sick. I'm going to show you sick. To do our best. But eventually, I don't know, it'd be nice to do this for other people, like to build storage units or build the outhouse for some people. Mm-hmm. That would be really nice. Do this and then deliver. Do this and then deliver a finished product to someone who's like, here you go. I know life is hard and you're struggling, so here's something to help you from the bench. Humble. Who gets it? Blue gets it, huh, Blue? So this board, like on top, it has like a little bit of water damage. Uh huh. And so it's a little rotted. So I'll probably replace this one, or like splice it like the other one. I kind of don't. I like splicing because like it'll work. But like I said, like it's best to do everything as best as possible. I think my problem is like. Uh oh. My uh -oh. problem is I want everything to look symmetrical on the inside and so splicing is going to like add a little variation to like a few of them uh -huh. but i want to make it so like each slice is like clean like just clean look like super clean look and hopefully my dad can come out and like help me eventually that's another thing like working with masks i can't imagine that sounds horrible like i it's important to like if you're working you should be working with masks if you're working with others but like I just hang out with you. Like I just live with you. Like, I'll wait it out till I don't know. Lucky figure me. it out till. <laughs> I don't know. I figure whatever happens, at least we'll have a house and water and electricity. <laughs> yeah. That's the goal. That's it. God bless us. But yeah, just be careful because they're nails like I need to. Okay. Like, they'll pop up and you'll get Caution. Caution, Blue. Caution, Blue. Caution, <laughs> Blue. Like this is just what I'm doing. This, this our plan. You know, like our plan isn't the best plan, and our plan isn't the worst plan, but it's our plan. Like everyone should have a plan. Like, whatever you're doing is have a plan. Like, I'm not trying to be like this is the best way. Or, like this is a way. Like in your way isn't the best way. Either. I don't know why people have a hard time understanding. Here comes the wind. Hey, God. Don't, don't laugh at my form, Rick. 
I don't think anyone's laughing at you right now. You're doing good stuff. You got it. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> it just sounds good. It's like you're harpooning a whale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we got a little bit of gap and we can squeeze our crowbar in there, our hammer, whatever works. Uh huh. Just kind of space the plywood a little bit more. We almost have a pen wall. So, yeah, the first day it took me all day to get one pen wall. Second day, it took me a half day. This third day, oh wait, it's been like, I don't know how long it takes. A couple minutes, it's not really cut at 20 minutes. But it's probably gonna take like an hour to get this one on. It's so, getting better and better. And another thing is like, my muscles get tired. Like I gotta take a rest day in between, like just focus on like, Brain stuff. Like my body gets tired doing this. I'm so worn out. I'm really fortunate. Like I can rest. This is not exactly an emergency yet. It would be dumb to make it an emergency. But sometimes that's just how I function. I'm like I hate it. But... <laughs> Gotta grab a tie for it. Prop it out a little bit more. What? To prop it out a little bit more. You got this. We, you got this. Realm wasn't built in a day, folks.
leverage point. But you gotta figure out where the leverage point is. So cool. It would be nice like, putting it back together. Like, I feel like, like I'm not the best woodworker, but I've definitely like, made stuff. And like cutting stuff and putting it together is not hard. Like anyone can do it. It's really satisfying. I feel like the hard part is like just getting started and understanding that you can do it. Like, you're not. You're not an idiot. You know, like, yeah. we're all problem solved. We're all born with like, skill sets. We just gotta problem solve. And if you can't figure it out, then you, you can hire someone, but it's important to know you can do it. Yeah. Like, even if you've done this a few times, you gotta try. Yeah. That's what we're doing here. We're trying and we're, we haven't died. Like, that's the cool part. Like, Thank you, God. Like, yeah, right? Like, I've never grown up without not having water and not having a light like that's so new to me <laughs> and we don't have that much space and it's like hard but like we're doing it and like if you want to help people you have to understand where they're coming from you know and this is where people are coming from people. that's what we're doing really I used to have a client named Bob, and you know Bob. <laughs> and like, I would make him lift really heavy weights sometimes. Uh -huh. And he would like, he would make this face that like, like you could tell he was trying really hard. And like, I used to love seeing that. And like, I feel like I make that face sometimes and I feel stupid. But, uh, Rest in peace, Bob. So yeah, like, just like the other boards, like, all of this is water damage. Uh-huh. So like, when I pry it up, it's probably just gonna splice off, and like, that's fine, because we can cut here, uh -huh. and just cut all this bad part off. Uh-huh. And we're going to probably replace this. Right. Because we have 10 panels over there. And then we're going to use this surplus as like an overhang. So this water damage doesn't happen. So this water damage happens because there's a hole over there. And like, gravity's always going to make sure the water reaches the ground. Just because that's how gravity works. But it's not always going to go in a straight line. And when you have a lot of water, it's going to spread out. And like, sadly, like that's what we saw here is like, Spread out from that hole, from like a hole in the tar probably. Bubbled out and reached the edges on here and slowly dripped out. Yeah. From all of the edging. And so every piece is damaged, but like the top parts are perfect. Like this would still be really good. <coughs> yeah. And it plywood's looks so new. expensive nowadays. Now it's like COVID nineteen happening. Like, plywood's gone up like fifty percent or something. Really? It is crazy. I know? didn't know that. Yeah, plywood's crazy. Like, Why do you think? Just because, like, people aren't working as much. You know, like, it's hard to have a workforce because before everyone was kind of crowding together, and, like, now each workstation has to have be a workstation. Like, 
everyone has to set. And it's not like a matter of like whether you want to do it or whether it makes money or loses. It. Like it's just science, you know. Like that's how disease spreads. Like if you're close to people and you breathe on them, you're going to get them sick, possibly. Mm -hmm. Unless you're living with them. Wow. Yeah, it's weird. So yeah, at this point, I might just pop it up and see what happens. Yeah. Because I'm tired. I just kind of want to start cutting already. I've never really thought of like the money I've saved growing out my hair. You yeah. Know, until I just know like that's a lot of money. Yeah, you used to get haircuts all the time. Or cut your own. But yeah. Beautiful. So this last piece is is really hard uh -huh. to get out. So I have a weird <laughs> I have a weird method of popping out. Uh-huh. Because this board's flexible, uh-huh. Usually when I press up with a two by four right in the center, uh-huh. Push up really fast. Gravity will make the board come back down. Mm -hmm. And so like this part of the board will come down and it'll kinda like levy up. Mm-hmm and pop this side out just enough so I could get these in there and mm -hmm. pop it out. So. Now that you're filming, people get stupid. stupid. Like, I feel dumb doing this, but it like works. Whatever works, works. And like, one thing my dad did text me was like, the last thing we need is you getting hurt. Like, I'm an injury prone person. <laughs> and like, that's so real. Like, it's important to slow down. Slow it down. So you gotta do like push up right in the center. And you just lift. Wow! Sometimes you just want to like punch it, <laughs> like break it more, and you just gotta 
Mind yourself, I can't get hurt. Like, yeah. And that's when you get mad at me. Like, hey. <laughs> So I take this and like I kind of, this is um, a wood nail blade and I just take it and I cut through the tar and the asphalt shingles and then I can just pop it off. So like right now it's being propped in by the asphalt shingles. Mm -hmm. Me too. Bob Dila. <laughs> Bob the Builder. Bob Dila. <laughs>
You got this. It's just the shingles are so heavy. Yeah. Oh, I got it. <gasps> okay. Now we got to, we have to make sure the other side is clear again. Make sure we're not throwing. So yeah, our dog's right there. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a sad day. <laughs> Like after I throw it off, uh -huh. just make sure you don't drive too close to here. Okay. I'm gonna have to pick up all the nails and just make sure uh -huh. you don't get a flat pad. Got you. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna throw it off. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go with 